Oh boy, Karen decided to pull up to the shareholder meeting and talk about justice. She said, you and I, T.Y., <laughs> you and I, T.Y., that's the unity. Karen fights for justice at the shareholder meeting, all right? Everyone hates Tesla. Let's get into it. Shout out to Karen and the activist Shaniqua. They pulled up <laughs> and said their piece. Let's get it. Vote ...of executive compensation and the ratification of, uh, of appointment of PwC as an independent registered public accounting firm for fiscal year 2023. And every three years for non-binding advisory vote for the frequency of future votes. So they're going to be getting into this vote, but you got to hear it, man. This choice is crazy. With respect to stockholder proposal included in our proxy statement, which relates to the reporting on the key man risk, Karen Roberts Dotier, on behalf of Sumtris, is here to present this proposal. Ooh, Karen. Karen is in the building. Give it up for Karen, man. She's coming in here and she's going to lay down the law. Miss Roberts Dotier, can you please identify yourself? Identify yourself, Karen. I would like to invite you to speak. You will have three minutes. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to put some speed on Karen because she'd be talking. Hello. Uh, thank you for having me here today. Under discussion is a shareholder proposal concerning key person risk at Tesla, requiring Tesla's board to draft a report covering the steps taken to ameliorate the potential impacts of loss of key persons in the company. Um, however, before I begin, I would first like to say thank you to Mr. Musk. For so many of us, you stepped into fields where we had so desperately wanted to see change, and through bringing in a talented team, willing to put in long hours, you dragged reluctant industries kicking and screaming into a better future, and for that, um, thank you building up this uh, juggernaut around us, which, as you largely put it, uh, runs itself these days. Um, well, thank you for that. Now I'm about to stab you in the back. I'm about to Julius Caesar you. <laughs> and yet now here we are today, at a time when Tesla's technological leadership should be on display. The investment community largely sees us as adrift, with management focused on all the matters not Tesla, watching as Tesla's brand favorability dropped by 15 points last year, something that costs us margins. We have such a spectacular product pipeline and a team that knows how to execute at scale with low cost of goods sold, something that we are not being properly recognized for. It should go without saying, but apparently bears repeating that if you cannot produce with low cogs, you have no future. When I look around the auto industry these days, I see a lot of companies that have no future. Um, and that's a success on behalf of an incredible team here at Tesla that deserves recognition. When people look at this company, that's not what they see. They see the company as a synonym for its CEO. And then the discussion turns to everything except for where it should be focused. It's my sincere hope that by introducing this proposal, we can not only accelerate the development of management at Tesla, but also increase its visibility. The fact that this company is so much more than its key persons is something that the public and the investment community should see. A founder often finds... Thank you, Elon, for doing what you have done. Thank you for sleeping in the factory. Thank you for sacrificing your time with your loved ones. But I have $10 invested in Tesla. So therefore, <laughs> you need to get out the way <laughs> because the margins went down and then the bull said this and said that. Guys, listen, F the media, all right? You, like Elon said, F the media. They're going to talk about what they're going to talk about. You're going to change the key man, the point man who's out here murdering it. I don't care about what the people are talking about because guess what? Once we drop that product, they're going to be fiending. Once we drop that product... They ain't going to be talking about this and that. Even if they are, who cares? We dropping a product, we're performing. But you're like connecting BS to reduction. And we lost money. Show me the evidence, Karen. But allow her to kill you. Hey, you, you always watch out, man. These liberals, these Karens, these people, they kind of give you that compliment before they start stabbing you. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, first and foremost, I want to say thank you for what your contributions have been. Now, they, they saying this while they... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Sharpening up the knife. Now, what, I'm about to lay into you. I'm about to stab you in the back. But I just wanted to say some compliments first so I don't look like a bad guy. Get to the point. ...finds their greatest success in ensuring the future of the company and the development of the management talent who can come after them. Think Tim Cook at Apple, Steve Ballmer at Microsoft, and so forth. People who are ready from day one to execute without controversy, without distraction. and build Man, Steve Jobs was hella controversy. Nobody even liked that dude. Come on, they kicked them out the company. 
People be forgetting, bro. Come on, lady. Brush your teeth. Hold the future for the company. I encourage the board should embrace this opportunity in the most public manner possible to showcase the future being built right here so that the discussion among the public and the investment community resolves, revolves around that and not around every public statement on every other topic made by the leadership. Um, I strongly encourage the board, the uh, shareholders to support this proposal and for the board to embrace it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Roberts. The board is recommended that our stockholders vote against this proposal. Yeah, vote against that proposal. Man, shout out to the Karen, though. It took a lot of guts to stand up there and be a backstabber. Like, the guys who stabbed Julius Caesar in the back, they weren't at least out there like Karen, but the board rejected. Uh, nice try, Karen, but nah, negative. You know what I'm saying? We're rocking with Elon. And hey, according to me, Elon, say what you want, man. Just continue to do a great job. For the reasons set forth in our statement of opposition in our proxy statement. Finally, as you saw, and investor advocates for social justice would like to raise a proposal from the floor. The proponents did not seek to have their proposal included in the proxy statement. The board recommends that our stockholders who are entitled to vote on this proposal vote against it. As a reminder, as is disclosed in a proxy statement, I've been advised by the proxy holders that they intend to vote all, all shares of stock over which they have discretionary authority against this proposal. Only shareholders who are shareholders of record or have obtained a legal proxy may vote for this proposal after it is presented. Courtney Wicks, representing Investor Advocates for Social Justice, is here to present the proposal. Ms. Wicks, I would like you to speak. You will have three minutes. Social justice. Come on, bro. Who is you folks? Who are these folks, man? Who that? <laughs> Who you with, man? Thank you. Good afternoon, Tesla board members, management, employees, and shareholders. My name is Courtney Wicks, and I am the executive director for Investor Advocates for Social Justice. And I'm here on behalf of As You Sow and the Sisters of the Good Shepherd, who have filed- The Sisters of the Good Shepherd? Man, what? What'd she say? The Sisters of the German Shepherds. <laughs> I'm here with the Sister of the German Shepherds, <laughs> Fourth Legion. <laughs> Get your justice system. Oh, Wicks. John Whitaker Wicks. Man, who is this lady, man? People in there like, yo, why this lady right here on the low? Like, <laughs> she ain't trying to throw shade. Look at this lady right here, man. Let me zoom in on this lady. She like, man, we got to listen to this nonsense. Uh-oh, the, the shepherds of the sisters. The sisters of the shepherds. All right, man. Let me let this lady go on here and fight for the cause. War. Who? What is it good for? Awesome, I'm alaykum. Let's go. What's she talking about? Filed shareholder proposals in the past on child labor and human rights abuses in Tesla's supply chain. I stand here today to call on shareholders to vote yes on requesting Tesla to conduct a third party report detailing the company's efforts to eradicate child and forced labor in its supply chain. The human rights risks that permeate throughout Tesla's value chain when not adequately addressed harm shareholder value and undermine Tesla's ability to lead the just transition. Growing attention and concern have been placed on child labor in cobalt mining in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, as well as on forced labor in China's Xinjiang region. 70% of the world's cobalt needed for EV batteries are sourced in the DRC. Over 40,000 children work in artisanal and small scale mining often without protective equipment and in dangerous spaces that frequently collapse. Many children are seriously injured or killed in the mining process. And Tesla's lady. Yo, come on, man. Get your lady, man. Get your mans, man. Get the shepherd sisterhood, man. How you know this? What is Tesla supposed to do? First of all, let me teach you something, lady, because you're reckless. <laughs> It's hard for any company, especially mega companies, to control what other people do in their countries. All right. First of all, we can't send no clandestine investigator to go down there in NSCI. And I know you guys think that America rules the world, but we don't. We don't have jurisdiction. All right. We can't just go busting up in somebody's country. Let me check out. And then in the middle of Africa, where, man, they ain't got roads. They ain't got electricity, Nate. Like, come on, man. You need to talk to those African countries about what they doing to their citizens 
Stop coming at Tesla talking about being a private company in the United States of America should go over there and run a Mission Impossible operation and go find Inspector Gadget. Da, 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 da. They they should figure it out. Come on, lady. And then they this is and then you know a tomb day got killed down in the shaft mine in 1996. Like, bro, calm, calm. How you even know that got that's connected to Tesla? Latest sustainability report. It claims to have it audited. 80% of the miners and refiners in their cobalt supply chain against responsible production standards. However, there are many industry backed standards, some of which are weak, and it isn't clear what percentage of audits were conducted by which initiatives. It is also unclear how the company's due diligence ensures cobalt source from child labor is not intermingled in the industrial cobalt supply chain. Subsequently, an estimated 1.8 million people have been subject to states imposed genocide, detention, and internment camps, and forced labor in the Xinjiang Uyghur region. A recent study concluded. Like, bro, the Department of State can't even stop what's going on in China. Like, what you talking about? So what Tesla's supposed to do? Like, be better than the Department of State? Like, I worked in the embassy, okay? I was a diplomat. This lady is bogus. Like, what is Tesla supposed to do? Something about happening in the Xinjiang region? Like, yo, come on, man. Hey, Elon, can you fix the penguins down in Antarctica? Like, bro, what are you talking about? I can't stop no wiggers and no, you know, the wiggers down there. <laughs> Come on, man. Where's mine? Get your, get the shepherd sisterhood, man. That automakers cannot conduct meaningful audits in this region. The recent Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act in the United States sent an inquiry into Tesla's supply chain highlights the regulatory risk Tesla faces. We believe a third party audit would provide greater transparency into how Tesla plans to eradicate child and forced labor from its supply chain. One of Tesla's competitive advantages is its sustainable leadership. Tesla, its board of directors and management team have a moral obligation to pursue ethical sourcing practices that do not rely on the lives of children or enslaved people. Tesla can continue to make a true leadership difference that forges a sustainable economic future that is anchored by innovation, empathy, human development, and shareholder value. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Wicks. No, no, thank you, Miss Wicks. And first of all, you ain't nobody to tell me what my morals is. Don't you ever lecture me about morals. See, man, these people are way it's mine. Now, let me let me let me get on. Yo, can I talk my stuff? If y'all want me to talk my stuff, let me know. Huh? If you want me to talk myself, give me a heck yeah. Give me a hell yeah. What? What? All right, hold on. Let me talk my stuff, man. You don't tell me what moral obligation I got. First of all, as a shareholder and an ex-diplomat combat veteran, I've been overseas in the trenches, boy. So don't you ever try to pop your ways and tell me what my moral obligations to do, man. I was out here in the battlefield. No real talk, true story. I've been actually overseas, man. A lot of this stuff happens and it's internal. So we got Rookies with a fortune cookie sipping on lattes and going to Starbucks on the computer, pointing blame at Tesla when it's really those countries. See, they, she can't come out and come at them African countries or whatever country it is. Go to China and go tell the president that. Go, go wag your finger and snap your neck, Miss Wicks, at the CCP. And you know what's going to happen? You won't get DDT. Go ahead and talk to the CCP like that, and you'll get DDT. Uh, yeah, Miss Wicks, you go over there snapping your neck, talking about what they should do. They're going to hit you with the. Uh, so watch your mouth, man, telling me what I got to do, my moral imperative. I'm out here in the battlefield, Miss Wicks. And guess what? I vote against yo recommendation. We will now accept votes for, against, or to abstain for this proposal, but again, only for record holders or legal proxy holders. Please note, this is the final opportunity to submit proxies in order for them to be counted. So we count them now. I declare the polls are now closed. What we got? Based on proxies we have previously received, I'd like to announce on preliminary basis that our stockholders have approved the recommendations of the Tesla board on all agenda items, except that uh, shareholders have recommended one year for non-binding advisory vote on the frequency of future votes on executive compensation. 
This means that I would like to officially announce our new addition to the Tesla board, JB Straddle. Shout out to JB. JB is the man. All right. Shout out to JB. Most of you guys don't know the JB. I think that's all the Karens and the social justice warriors. I thought they was pretty funny, guys. I wanted to actually review those guys coming up there talking about children in Africa. Go to Africa. Go to China. After the final population is completed, we will announce specific vote tallies filing uh, in the filing form 8K. Statements. So, uh, well, we've got uh, a lot of uh, great news to talk about today. The, the Tesla team has done an incredible job of executing over the past year, uh, and we have many exciting years ahead of us. So, and I believe that, man, keep doing what you guys are doing, man. No matter what Mix Wicks and Miss Cameron said, we're going to keep moving forward, okay? We're going to help in the long run. We got a moral obligation. You know, she really said a lot and it really like guys i want to take the time to play some music for miss wicks and miss karen now that we're done shout out to the united states of america the greatest country in the world Keep pain in it, bro. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Wicks. Thank you for trying. You tried to open up that investigation on us, but it didn't work, lady. Because even though you don't like capitalism, we still in it to win it. A fantastic day for capitalism. And a fantastic day for USA.